I have no fear. I know how not to have fear anymore. I am not afraid. Do you want to know how? If you're not scared to know, ask me. The page has taught me. I am not afraid anymore now. Do you want to be free from fear? Give me 100 credits, and I'll give you the page. Here, I'll give you the page. I no longer have the risk of getting a paper cut now. I will never again fear. We can't get to the park. Maybe it's better that way. There has to be a good reason. full of specters. It's terribly frightening. <laughs> Buenos dias, dear Victor. What better place to shop than a shopping mall? You live in Bismarck? It's strange they're not wearing a tie. These barriers prevent people from falling into the plastic. You're even made of rubber, so you don't hurt yourself. It's good. The residential area is for residents only. Imagine the panic if intruders ever sneak into our homes. This barrier prevents them from passing. They don't share any resemblance with the locals. <sighs> yes. We should no longer lend any books to that man. He tears up the pages. It's almost dangerous. Yes. I'm going back upstairs. Hello, welcome to the library. Uh, I should point out that the upstairs floor is inaccessible because of the specters. There are phantoms inside this building? Uh, yeah, yes. Why? I'm going to eliminate those impures. De destroy the specters, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you could get hurt, and, uh, there is 
nothing up there. Only walls, shelves, stairs, and your old cat. A cat? I'm going up to purify that floor. Ah, but, uh, okay. Don't make too much noise then. And the third floor is not really accessible. People have torn pages out of the books there. So, I don't want people to go up there anymore. It'll be dangerous. I'm doing nothing wrong. I like looking at the wall. This... This is a large building. These are fake shelves. It's not easy to find your way back outside. Everything... Everything looks the same. I... I prefer the fake books. You can't damage them. These are fake shelves, so the visible base on the real ones. This book is titled, Explanations. Read. This book is titled, Written by E.S. Read. Alright, so, I do not speak French. But, the wiki does have a translation, so I will read that. Just find it real quick. Alright. Be careful, madam. You're starting to put on weight. And putting on weight means aging. With the Dow Crows method, which combines sport with music theory, you will keep the entirety of your slenderness. Three sonatas of Beethoven lead to gradual, quite sensitive weight loss, and six fugues of Bach have a devastating effect on fat cells. The effects of this treatment can be accelerated by executing it on... That just trails off. This book's titled, The Cardinal Points. Read. Right, so, this is upside down, but again... So read this with the wiki. It is not necessary to know the cardinal points in the pink fortress. Is there a big arrow showing the directions painted on the walls of the library? Seat the next page for the four symbols in their respective cardinal points. South, east, west, north. No matter what way I hold the book, it stays upside down. There is no title on the cover. Read. I have run out of oxygen. The title of this book is unreadable. Read. This book is titled Tales and Legends. Read. The Toad King. A long time ago, there lived an evil king with countenance so repulsive he was called the Toad King. One beautiful day, a masked man presented himself at the Sovereign Court and spoke these words. Good day, O evil monarch. Leave and return peace to thy people or taste mine blade and perish at its end. The king responded, I am the king, and thou art my subjects. Thou art not to oppose mine will. Thus, the masked man brandished his appee and killed the king. The end. This book is titled Bismarck. Read. For afterwards, she instated three guardians responsible for watching over the zones. The Firebird was designated Lord of the Second Zone, the Eternal City of Bismarck. He was the tallest, the most beautiful, and the most just. This book is titled The Up Children Down. Read. And. Swarming about in the stomach of the world, the 700,000 upchildren down of sin gnawed the queen's established order, menacing her gentle rule. They are the physical incarnation of evil's harmful deeds in the world. Forever lost in their sickly madness, they are beyond redemption and immortal. Only the queen herself, when the final battle comes, could annihilate the miasmic force that is the upchildren down. Chapter 2 Of the Apocalypse and the Dark Liches 
The same shall happen to all souls banished for their sins. They shall be tortured forever by the accursed horrors of the dark liches residing. Don't turn the pages, it makes too much noise. Okay? There's a book with a page missing. There's a book with a page missing. There's a page of a book on this wall. This is the story of the three guardians, chosen by the queen to rule over the zone, islets of life and the nothingness of this world. The first, Deedon, was tall and short of temper. His firmness of character and his body of steel ensured him supreme reign over his zone. The second, Chaffet, was kind and generous. Always smiling benignantly, he was beloved by all. He went off in all directions, ever ceasing to give more security to his subjects. The third, Enoch, was cold and just. He bruised the fifth artificial element in his zone, sugar. His people became addicted to this magical substance. They were happy, but disconnected from reality. Arcane legends tell of the queen, living by her father's side in the room, engendering the phantoms to destroy the world that they themselves have created. Some say that she is beautiful like the heart of the sun, others are sure that she is invisible. All of this is ev evidently nothing but unfounded speculation. It's impossible to pass through. down specter. Inverted ectoplasmic in incarnation. Light resistance against smoke. Possible to pass through. Perhaps I should have a talk with the receptionist. I put the books back in order. Ah, ah, really? I. It's good. I. I'll let you go further up then. That. That's great. Third floor is now accessible. Only for you. You! What? What is that? You're not the judge. The, 
The judge? No. No, that is not my name. My name is Jacket. I am the creator of this city. I am also the one who leads the Phantoms, the royal instruments of my vengeance. You are the leader of the Spectres? Precisely. They are my arms, sent to me by the just sent me by the Queen to restore justice to the stone. You must have been quite ardent to set to have set foot on the stairs of this library. I recognize in you a certain courage, an exceptional trait in this fear of a place. However, my vengeance will not leave anyone unpunished. Therefore, you should be the first to succumb to the blast of my ectoplasmic army. There is no need for the specter to yet to eliminate you, you ridiculous sport pantaloon clad puppet. I will finally get a taste of payback. Jeff, Royal Guardian of Zone 2. Second boss. When your soul is spellion, so your arms are made in image. I must admit I may have underestimated you. Fortunately for you, to repudiate all my jumping legitimately manners in order to be the new nemesis. Spectres, come to me! Let us dance together and resound the song of the righteous. May the torment of men heal the wounds that have been dealt me, and may your intangible bodies devour their souls for all eternity. Phantoms? Phantoms, come to me! I command you! Curses! By what spell, baleful human, do you succeed in defeating my ectoplasmic acolyte from joining me? No matter. You shall taste my wrath. <laughs> Pitiful fool! It is not yet time for me to reveal my true nature. But know that you will soon get what you deserve, you insufferable buffoon. I don't know, maybe though. Let's join it. This barrier prevents me from going upstairs. It's impossible to climb any higher at this point. We're high up. You didn't get hurt up there. I saw a cat. It's waiting in front of the southern entrance. Salutations, dear immaculate comrade. Is your journey unfolding under optimal conditions? These premises are less humid than the preceding ones. I must admit that I am very pleased about that. The feline race is not very fond of rain. I have heard from an old friend that the shopping mall in the north of the city has fallen prey to ectoplasmic assault. Perhaps it will be wise for you to make your way there and illuminate the place with your purifying light. This is an ad for raw meat. This is an ad for metal tables. This is an ad for plastic shredders. This is an ad for bottles of smoke. Special sale. Buy two pounds of Oregon meat, get one pound free. This is an ad for baseball bats. 
where it stops you from passing through. This is an ad for metal floors. Please excuse the state of decay and disorder of our galleries. Welcome to the Gomez Galleries. May nothing stop your frantic thirst for consumerism. These are puddles of smoke. This is an ad for meat. Angled carefully by the employees of Zone 1, our meat is preserved as free, guaranteed. This is an ad for protected metal railings. Cadiz de Rey. Finally, a very mundane ghoul. Strong resistance against add-ons. Plastic chairs are designed without any potentially dangerous edges. Special sale on bottles of smoke. It's seven for the price of six. This is an ad for meat home deliveries. Build your walls out of metal. In the event of an attack, their sturdiness is certain. This count on wave machines. The Gomez Galleries offer you a large variety of boxes full of plastic and metal. Is your life morose? Then take a trip to the amusement park. Whale, the green mammal of the Order of Cetacea. No work to serve resistance. Gomez <laughs> luck tickets are manufactured and tested by specialists. Feeling depressed? Try Modestia. Because life is too short, buy some jokers. Join our contest to win batches of three barrels of plastic. I'm lost. Let's make a fire with the boxes to ward off the ghosts. But that's too dangerous. Buy your clothes at Zachary's. Special offer for Victor. Delicious, nutritious meat is ground in the traditional Badalo stroke style. This 
this advertisement not of such effectiveness defying the basic laws of mainstream marketing? Or silkier fur? Pate from the fountains of Alma. Would you look at that? You know how to read. In any case, I am glad to have found you. Perhaps you can help me shed light on the mystery which fate has placed before me. It turns out that my brother has been living in this zone for numerous years, with a particular affinity for cooler colors of the spectrum. Unfortunately, I have not succeeded in crossing his path. I have all tried to betake myself to the roots of the central library where he resides, but found the door closed, remaining as such even after long hours of intensive, repeated meowing and compulsive scratching. Therefore, my request is as follows. If at the bend of a corridor you happen to pass with Valerie, give him my greetings. Okay. With an exquisite composition. With the subtlety of form, this is truly a masterpiece. A work that will be remembered. Buy 50 liters of blue paint. Get the 51st liter free. painted on the wall. 